guys uh, thank you very much for coming and thank you very much for you know watching electrica now today we are looking at rcds and mcbs so i really need we need to talk about them and you know uh, which one work where and why you should have a rcd because uh, apparently uh, most homes especially in africa don't really care about rcds uh, probably most of you out there you know apart from you know uh people from western world you know but uh, in africa most of the installations don't really uh, embrace rcds so let's jump into it thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and push that bell notification i have two th stuffs here i have got mcb and i've got rcd now most of you you're familiar with the mcb but not the rcd perhaps you've heard about these rcds but if you go and look at your consumer unit you can't find it okay and i promise you this video it's going to be a little bit long so i urge you to watch it at the end okay all right now rcd is a residue current device well as MCB is multiple circuit breaker, okay? Now, this multiple circuit breaker, it's what you have inside your consumer unit. And this, it has something to do with your circuits inside your installation. This, it has something to do with current. Now, you see, they look similar, but they do different jobs, okay? Now, inside your installation, uh, whereby in your consumer unit you have got number of MCCB, uh, you have got those that protect your, your sockets, which probably ranges uh, between 10, 30, 40, and so on. And then you have those that protect your lights, uh, light circuits, which could be also ranging maybe 20, 10, 6, uh, it depends on the, the type of load that it's connected to. To it or the rating of that particular light that it's there okay now uh, if we come back here in Africa especially uh, I'm in Kenya uh, you find that uh, we don't really embrace our cities and most importantly people don't understand uh, why they might need this okay because also most of the technician don't really talk about it to don't even recommend it to their you know clients which is really bad if you go to western countries uh, and also maybe serious companies that do these you know installations they really use this because they comply with the regulations you know uh, in Western countries, uh, the regulations are really strict. Your installation cannot pass uh, without having an RCD. Now, let me explain why you need this RCD. Okay. Now, I alone, I told you that this multiple circuit breaker, it only protects your installation against overload current and uh, short circuits. You know, all those things, they result in fire. Okay, so whenever there is an overload inside your installation, this will help you because it will trip. Okay, and also if there is a, a short circuit, it will do the same thing. Now, in all those, you know, uh, circumstances, this thing end up protects your devices and your cables like we started. But what about you? Okay, you're not protected. Every time you're inside your kitchen uh, and you touch the exposed parts of your electrical equipment inside your kitchen, like your cooker, like your microwave, uh, and all other those stuff, the toasters, you're electrocuted, okay? But sometimes you take that for granted because you feel like it doesn't have any harm to you. But hey, it does. It's only that you have got some bit of resistance uh, on you perhaps the type of shoes that you're wearing uh, the type of surface that you're standing on you know so by the time you're feeling uh, that small electrocution it means that if you didn't have that kind of resistance 
whether the shoes or the type of the floor you're standing on, maybe you would be dead or unconscious, okay? So now that's when we introduce this RCD, okay? I told you it means residue circuit, residue current device. It means residue current device. So how important is it? Uh, I will tell you that as low as 30 milliamps, that current is enough to kill you, okay? Very enough to kill you. So when you have this one in your circuit, every time, uh, the, every time you fall into a situation whereby you touch on an exposed part and then you're electrocuted, this will trip because it senses as low as 30 milliamps and it will trip the circuit. So normally what you should normally what you do with this you don't need to have many of these inside your your installation you could only have two and they are installed directly inside your consumer unit so you put two that one controls the lights uh, the light circuits and the other one uh, controls the the sockets but of course these days uh most of the breakers that they sell, the MC that they sell on the market, they, are, they integrate RCD circuit in it them. Yeah, such that when you have one whole thing, you can install everything, like you have maybe like uh, 10 circuit breakers inside your consumer. Unit. So all of them, they, uh, each piece, it has got uh, an RCD coil in it, okay? But uh, if that sounds expensive, then you, only need one uh, that will be controlling the circuits, the, the the lighting circuits, and also one that controls the the other circuits of the sockets. But to do that, you have to make sure that the, if, for example, if you have got lighting circuit, maybe you have got uh, four lighting circuits. So you must make sure that the the sum of all the currents of the lighting circuits are. Uh, they meet with this. So if the sum goes to the 30 amps, then you must have this one at least 40 amps to protect, you know, uh, that circuit. Okay? Uh, also, the circuit, same thing. So you're just going to make it, in your consumer, of course, you, to be spread, so you must have this that will control your, your lighting circuits and then the other one also like that. So for example, if you came to your consumer unit, maybe uh, your RCD trips keeps on tripping. By the way, it's a good thing. If the thing keeps on tripping, it means that it's working perfectly. So what you have to do is to look for a fault. If you have it tripping all the time, you have to look for a fault. And how do you look for a fault? Because this, it is controlling like uh, four, five, six circuits. You must go and switch off all the circuits. And then you reset your RCD, then you go switch on one by one one by one until you find the one which brings the fault and that's what you follow and fix exactly that but of course uh that's something you're gonna do inside your house then later you can call your technician to do exactly that uh, to you know to rectify uh for you because now following the circuit if you're gonna do that by yourself it can be a little bit tricky okay all right so now you know how important is to have RCDs inside your installation. It's very super important to have, okay? Because th these uh, small, 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 small current that leak uh, on your gadgets, especially in your kitchen, uh, you know, it, you, do, you never take it for granted. Every time you touch your kettle, you, you're electrocuted or you feel some bit of leakage current in there, you, your body can feel it. Mm? You shouldn't take them for granted because the electricity kills. I've told you as small as 30 mil amps can kill you, okay? So you have to have these inside your installation if you're out there and uh, you don't have one in your installation please ask around or ask your technician to help you uh, install some inside your installation and then it can save you sometimes because man life is very sweet if you sleep you can end up you know going to heaven or to hell whatever okay all right, uh, so please, 
don't forget to subscribe to like and if you have another person whom you think that need to hear some of the words inside this video please share it that will be a very good thing okay okay uh, thank you very much for watching and please have a great time